My name's Sophia. I am Balinese Australian. The one piece of advice that I wish I had received, each mother has a very different and unique journey to becoming a parent. And I think that only when you start to learn your babies do you really learn yourself as a mother. My name is Sara. I consider my family to be world citizens. I'm a mom who's trying to be perfect when I shouldn't be. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mani. The name of my children is Gidere Kianu Pradita. I put Kianu because I'm too obsessed with Kianu ribs. I'm kind of mom who support my children's dream and celebrate my children's happiness. My name is Shayla. As my kids grow up and get older, my favorite thing about being a mom has become seeing them grow and seeing them evolve. And for me, that is, at the moment, that is the biggest joy, is just see that happening in front of my eyes and seeing how it develops, and I can't wait to see what comes next. No, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Hi, my name is Frankie. I'm from London in the UK. We have just created life. We've gone through this incredible and strange transformation. We've gone from being a woman to being a mother, and that is huge. And then again, as they get older, maybe you just give yourself time to nurture that woman that you still are. So you can still be the best mom ever, but remember that you're still her and she needs to be loved too. Hello, my name is Erika Peña. I am a Puerto Rican Dominican raising in the United States. You are the teacher to your daughter. So you're teaching her how to be a woman and how to interact with other women. We need more humans that love themselves because when you love yourself, you're not gonna inflict harm on anyone else and you're gonna have a very loving world. Hi, my name's Alicia and I'm from England. The most important role I think that mothers have is that we are the nurturers. We are the source of creation and we really are mothers in a larger sense of the word. What we stand for and what we can teach our children is to love and nourish everything around them. Bye. There is no such thing as perfection. And right now, my son is learning how to read and write. And he'll often say, Mom, is it perfect? Is it perfect? Is this letter E perfect? And I started telling Taj, you know, Taj, it's not perfect. It's very good. And he was like, well, why isn't it perfect? And I said, well, there is no such thing as perfect. Perfect is an evolution. It's constant growth. And we're constantly changing and growing. And there's always a new way that we can be. And there's always a new way that you can draw that letter E. Is that it?